Holly went to the supermarket to buy a watermelon. She found these four watermelons, but only Uh one of them is edible. Can you guess which one? The first watermelon is a hologram. See those flashing pixels? The tail of the second watermelon is a green snake. Probably not the safest choice. And the fourth watermelon has little cracks. So Holly should choose the third watermelon. One dark, cold night, Harry and Pam were chilling together in their country house. Harry was watching a movie while his wife Pam enjoyed her favorite mystery book. Suddenly, all electricity went out. Harry decided to go to bed, but Pam decided to finish the book. There was no artificial light around, but this fact didn't stop Pam. How is that possible? Pam was listening to an audiobook on her phone. It's big on Saturday and Sunday. It's small on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. It's absent on Monday and Friday. What are we talking about? It's the letter S. Bella and Ken took a flight to Europe to celebrate their honeymoon. It took them two and a half hours to reach the destination. After spending two weeks together, they flew back home. However, it took 150 minutes this time, even though the plane flew at the same speed. Can you guess why? Turns out that two and a half hours are exactly 150 minutes. Karen went camping in a jungle with her three best friends. They had a wonderful dinner and went to sleep. In the morning, Karen woke up first and found out that someone had eaten all the food from the bag. She questioned her friends. Josh said, I was very tired and fell asleep as soon as my head touched the pillow. I don't know what happened. Leah said, I left the tent in the middle of the night to go to the toilet. The food was in the bag near the tree where we left it. Wendy said, I left the tent at night and spent some time stargazing. I ate just one chocolate, I swear! Who ate the food? It was the monkey who was hiding in the tree. See those footprints around the bag? They are definitely not human. Gerald is a college dean. Somebody stole his car this morning. Soon, the police found it across the street. The thief hit a pole and escaped. The police interviewed three suspects. Holly said, I was busy having classes all morning. Then I went for a walk with my friends. Brian said, I was checking the test papers. Rob said, I skipped classes and spent the day at my girlfriend's studio. Can you guess who stole the car? It was Holly. Take a closer look inside the car. She lost one of her earrings. The combined age of Jenny and Jasmine is 49 years old. Jenny is twice as old as Jasmine was when Jenny was as old as Jasmine is now. How old are the sisters? Jenny is 28. And Jasmine is 21. Lisa likes grapes, but not potatoes. She likes squash, but not lettuce. Also, she likes peas, but not onions. Following the same rule, will she like pumpkins or apples? Pumpkins. Because Lisa only prefers things that grow on vines. Which of the following words don't belong to this group and why? Courts. All the other words are anagrams of each other. Two people participated in a contest. They had to hold something. Finally, the jury announced the winner. 
it was a person with their hands and feet tied. How can this be possible? It's all simple. The contestants had to hold their breath, and the tied person managed to hold it the longest. Becky is thinking about a seven-letter word that we read very often. Letters 5, 6, and 7 grow every year. Letters 3 and 4 are the same. Letters 3, 2, and 5 cover over 70% of the world. What word is Becky thinking of? The correct answer is message. Our age grows every year, and the C covers over 70% of the planet. Amy is looking at Nick, and Nick is looking at Mia. Amy is married, and Mia is not. Is a married person looking at the unmarried person? Will you go with a yes or a no? Or is this information insufficient? The correct answer is yes. Two combinations are possible here. If Nick is married, Mia, who is unmarried, is looking at him, who is married. If Nick is unmarried, we still have Amy, who is married. In this case, she's looking at Nick, who is single, which meets the requirements too. Five friends were eating apples. Amy finished before Bob, but after Cat. Dan finished before Eve, but after Bob. Can you figure out the exact order in which they finished the apples? Cat, Amy, Bob, Dan, and Eve. Eric's job is to guard a supermarket parking lot. One day, he was walking around the area as usual and noticed that someone had parked the car in the middle of the driveway. He questioned four women. Ladies, who is the owner of this car? All four women replied, it's not my car. Eric took a closer look at the vehicle and figured out its owner right away. Can you guess which of these women is the owner of the car? It's the first lady. She's the only person who's not wearing a bag. Her bag is in the car. Peter came home in the evening and found his car wrecked. His three roommates were there. Peter decided to find out who was guilty, so he questioned them. Josh replied, I didn't touch your car, I was walking the dog. Mike said, that wasn't me, I was playing football with my friend. And Will said, "Mm, nothing special happened today, I was just hanging out with our neighbors. Can you spot the liar? It's Will. He said he'd visited the neighbors, but nobody lives in this abandoned house. Plus, his cheek looks like he was in a crash. Sophie was sleeping. Suddenly, a robber broke into her apartment. He locked Sophie in the bathroom and asked her to stay quiet. Then, the robber began to collect cash and jewelry around the apartment. Suddenly, the phone started ringing. The robber told Sophie to pick up and talk without giving away the situation. Sophie picked up the phone. It was her husband. She said, Oh, hi, darling. Is it an emergency, darling? Give me a call when you land. I'll cook your favorite meal that will help you relax after your business trip. Then she hung up. Ten minutes later, the police arrived at Sophie's house and caught the robber. Can you guess how the police learned about the robbery? Sophie played with the mute buttons. She pressed mute on specific parts of her conversation to make her husband only hear emergency, call, and help. And he called the police right away. Rick woke up in a weird basement and saw three doors. He has only one chance to escape. If he enters one of the doors, he won't be able to use them again. The first door leads to a room with high-voltage wires hanging above the wet floor. Behind the second door, there's a room filled with water and piranhas swimming in it. 
The third door leads to a space where flesh-melting acid rain is falling from the ceiling. Which door is more or less safe to enter? Rick should choose the first door. He'll be okay if he won't let his body come in contact with the wires and the wet floor at the same time. Jerry called his wife Robin and told her that he would be home by 7 o'clock. They didn't plan anything special for that evening, but when he arrived at 2 minutes past 7, Robin was furious. Why was she so angry? Any ideas? She thought her husband would come home after work by 7 p.m., but he appeared by 7.02 a.m. the next morning. When the day after tomorrow is yesterday, today will be as far from Wednesday as today was from Wednesday when the day before yesterday was tomorrow. What is the day after this day? Can you guess? It's Thursday. Harry and Barry are two magicians performing this evening in two nightclubs on the same street. But one of them is fake. Can you guess who? It's Barry. Take a closer look under the magician's tuxedo. On the right, you can see a restaurant employee badge with his name on it. He must be a waiter who came instead of the real magician. A monkey, a squirrel, and a bird are racing to the top of a coconut tree. Who will get the banana first, the monkey, the squirrel, or the bird? None of them, because bananas don't grow on coconut trees. Bonnie is cooking dinner. She has three stoves, a gas stove, a wood stove, and a coal stove. But only one match. What should she light first of all? The match! You are a bus driver. Nine people get on the bus, and three people get on. Then, two more people get on, and another one gets off. Finally, four more people get on, and two get off again. How old is the bus driver? Whatever your age is, remember the question? You're the driver. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.